In the last video, we let the user input their name, and then we displayed a message containing the name they input. We stored that input in a variable called first name. Let's talk a bit about variables before we move on. A variable is basically a container which holds a piece of data, some type of value. In this case, some text, the user's name. Later on in the code, we can just refer to the variable's name, in this case, first name, and it will give us whatever value we assign to it. Instead of having the user input their name, let's make it simple and directly assign a value to it. Like I said, a variable is a container with a value in it. That value could be a name, an age, or anything else. In real life, we know that a name is text and an age is number. But in a programming language like C Sharp, you need to explicitly say what type of data you're using. In C Sharp, a variable has to have a data type, and you have to declare the variable as that type so that C Sharp knows what kind of data it's working with. This variable is a string, which is basically just text. To store a number in this value, we would need to tell C Sharp that it is a number. To declare a variable's data type, you put the data type right before the variable's name. Here, we've declared this variable's data type as a string. To assign a string to a variable, we write the string in double quotes. We'll assign the first name to Hingle. Now down here, when the code is run, wherever first name is included, it will be replaced with the string Hingle. Variables can contain any type of data, not just strings. We'll look at some other data types in the next video, but first, I'd like to talk about placeholders. Placeholders are a way of placing variables inside a string without using the plus sign to concatenate them. Let me show you an example. Let's declare a second variable called last name and assign it to the value of McCringleberry. Change the right line method down here. Get rid of the first name variable at the end. Change the text to first name, comma, and then put two curly braces with a zero inside, comma, last name, comma, then two more curly braces, this time with a one inside, followed by a period. These curly braces with the numbers inside are placeholders. We can include the variables we declared earlier here. Just put a comma after the string, and then put each of the variable names after. The zero will be replaced by the first variable you put here, and the one replaced by the second variable. You can include as many variables as you want. Just remember that the numbering inside these curly braces starts counting up from zero instead of one. If we compile the code, the console outputs first name Hingle, last name McCringleberry. That covers the basics of C-sharp variables and placeholders. In the next video, we'll take a better look at data types. We'll talk about strings a bit more, and we'll discuss a couple other data types that we'll be using in the upcoming videos.